go. Let's go. Oh, this is a school yard. Let's go. This ain't shit. Let's go. This ain't shit. Let's go. Let's go. This ain't shit. If you were gonna do a thing test, just get the air out and just slowly withdraw it. And that's it. You're all ready to go. I'm going on eight years now of taking testosterone. <laughs> It's a lifestyle a lot of people aren't ready for. Like a lot of people come up to me in the gym and they're like, if I take this, this, and that, will I look like you? I tell them to stay away from it. I tell them not to start it. Your first shot, your life is gonna change. It'll never be the same. A lot of people just think you could just take a needle and all of a sudden you're going to look like Mr. Perfect. Ten bags of Cheetos, and three cc's. It's a not. It's a whole. You're gonna get like, it comes no, back man. to the whole lifestyle. How many guys don't look good that take steroids? You know. Absolutely. It, it's you know. There's guys in here that are on steroids that you wouldn't even tell because they don't live the lifestyle. People think you know you're going to come in here, you're going to work out hard, you're going to take a bunch of stuff, and you're going to look like me or him or him, and it's not like that. I've been bodybuilding now since 21, so I'm going on 14 years now, and I don't plan on stopping. I've spent my blood, sweat, and tears in this place. Who wakes up every morning, meal preps, cooks all their food, has a steady schedule. I work from 7 in the morning till 7, 8 o'clock at night, and I still find a way to hit the gym every single night, six days a week. Oh. When I started, I was a regular, natural bodybuilder. I stayed natural until me turning 26. I remember I used to see this guy in the gym every single day and went up to him. I was like, hey, what supplements do you take? How's this, how's that? And he said, if you're serious, come see me and I'll show you what it really is. Basically, I just keep him in all a bunch of little places I got here. It's like a friggin' pharmacy. I got all the pins for growth hormones, if you want to, when I used to take it. Right now, I'm not doing it. I have extra bottles that I have laying around. And then up here, <laughs> what you're about to see is probably what I've done within the past, I want to say, the past year. This is probably like a collection. These are all like the empty bottles that I have just laying around. Because I like to just throw them all out at once at the end of like the year. It's just a weird habit I have. And there's so many different kinds. Like, this one is just the most craziest one. That's called Trend. This one is just known for very bad side effects. It can cause problems with your sex drive, help you, especially when it gets to that moment, you get have problems. This is by far my favorite one. It's called T400. Basically, it's a blend of Fast test, slow test, mixed together. And uh, basically, it's just my favorite because every shot you take is just 400 milligrams of testosterone in every one. There are a whole host of issues that come with taking testosterone unnecessarily. We know that there is an increase in the type of cholesterol that leads to cardiovascular issues like stroke and heart attack. We've seen sudden cardiac death in young athletes who otherwise had no cardiac issues and were taking um, testosterone or other androgens. Um, we see tendon rupture, um, and there's certainly a possibility not only for enlargement of the prostate, but um, an increased risk of prostate cancer. Another issue, large issue, is we see that the blood gets thicker, and that definitely increases the risk for clots. So certainly not benign to be taking testosterone. Oh, come on! Uh, there you go. Lightweight, let's go. Come on. Up, three, come on. Good. Come on. Six. Up. Uh, seven. Uh, let's go. Come on. 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 Come on.
Uh, when you're competing at a certain level, you know, you have to, you have to even the playing field. It's uh, a necessary evil, essentially, if honestly, you want to compete. It's Everybody. a performance right. enhancing drug. It's right. not, it's to make you do better physically. I don't care what anybody says. Steroids basically opened up a whole new spectrum of life for me. I could be a male stripper. I could be um, a model. It becomes a lifestyle. It's like a whole nother world that opened up for me. I've been getting calls for modeling shoots now. I've been getting calls for commercials. Staying natural and going to like the anabolic stage, completely different. Without it, you only get to a certain level that you can push your body. And if you want to take it to that next level, that different look, and it does help open up a lot of, a lot of doors. If you're going to like a full-blown cycle, a month yeah, easily yeah, going anywhere from two to five thousand dollars. I know people that spend seven thousand dollars a month, and I mean, some of them are pros. Some of them are trying to get to that level. The first person to find out was actually my mother. I actually had a couple of kits of growth hormones stuffed in the back of my fridge. I guess she caught on me waking up every morning, going to the fridge, doing what I had to do. And uh, I still remember this day getting that first phone call. Her hysterical crying. My mother wanted to hit me with a frying pan. Like, my mom didn't know that I was going to the doctor every three to four months, getting my blood work done. And I was overlooked by doctors at all times. I still do. You can't measure everything. Yes, you can see that the blood isn't getting thicker but there are other blood tests that you can't do to see that the clotting risk has gone up. Are you now at risk for rupture of your tendon? You don't know that through blood work. You don't know if you're gonna have sudden cardiac death, you know, from an unexplained reason. Obviously, it's always dangerous when you're getting a medication that's not approved by the FDA. I mean, I think one of the major sources is veterinarian supplements. So these aren't regulated. Um, so basically, anything that's being used on animals, it's not being regulated and, and humans are getting their hands on it. Last time I went and got my blood work done, my testosterone level came back at 3,000. A natural male at my age that doesn't take steroids is probably, I don't know, what would you say, 500? Yeah, about 500. And to tell you the truth, I got nervous because I even go to a sports doctor and he knows a lot about it and he was even nervous. There has been times I've got rushed to the hospital. Like, there's times I've been in the hospital my family don't even know. And I just didn't want to tell them because it was because of that. And when I first started, I couldn't control my anger at all. I used to bash every wall in my house. And it went from anger to depression. I lost two serious relationships. I was engaged. A big reason why that came to an end was because of my steroid use. Stop being a bitch, let's go. Oh, yeah. oh. Yep. Yeah. I'm going on eight years now of taking testosterone. Right. When I come off officially, I'm gonna have to go to the doctor probably for the rest of my life. Yeah. Get test treatment. Because at this point, I don't think my natural test will ever turn back on. It'll, and if it, that's it the case, I mean, it might, but it's gonna be years. It's not gonna be like overnight. Ugh. Basically now I'm just cruising, which means I'm off completely. But to keep my body at a natural level, I take one shot of testosterone maybe once every like seven to 10 days just to keep my body going. I plan on coming off for a while, especially now. I have a new girlfriend, it's going great. I see a great future and everything. And you know, I'm just thinking about right now, eventually having kids in the next like year or two. Thirty-four. He still had his life ahead of him in terms of, you know, having a family, having kids, and I have no idea if any of that stuff affects anything. And he tells me he's doing it the right way. You know, I trust him. He's married to the gym, and uh, you know, now it's finally paying off for him. As of right now, I'm in the process of coming off. Uh, obviously, since I've been with my girlfriend, that's the big reason why. Um, 
but I just wanted to let you know that, so. I'm proud of you. You feel a little better about the whole situation? Yeah, definitely. Do I ever plan on going back on? I'm not gonna lie, 100%. I can picture after I have a family and everything and I will be right back into full-blown bodybuilding. I have that fear in the back of my head about not being as big as I am. Because I enjoy walking places, especially walking with my girl and knowing people are looking at me like, holy shit, like, let me just stay out of this guy's way. I'll be truthful on camera. Right before I came here, I took a shot because I was like, hey, it's gonna make me feel better on camera. It's just something that I love and I won't, I won't switch it and it is what it is. Even the day that I do stop taking steroids and I'm not gonna stop bodybuilding.